Alright, so before I'm starting this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, I actually missed two things. They were both pointed out to me by YouTuber Lancy Melv, or Lancy Melvy, I don't really know how to pronounce it. And thank you for the tips. The first one, Bonjour, how are you? Are you picking apricorns? Way to go, little apricorn collector. I feel so great, I want to give you this. And give you some lure balls for free. Lure ball, this Pokemon makes it easy to catch the Pokemon that appear when you go fishing. This is made from apricorns. Consider those two as a small gift from me. Well, more go to Azalea Town, a man called Kurt can make special Pokeballs out of Apricorns. Apricorns rule. Yeah, right. But anyways, three, three, really? <laughs> Two free lure balls are always nice. And I also missed a potion. I'll go to that in a second. All right, so we're in the Union Cave. We are sending to the west of the Fire Breather. There is a potion up here if you go behind here. There we go. Thank you once again, Lancy Mel, for pointing out these two things which I've missed. I know you pointed it out in episode 6, but I was really sick when recording episode 7, so I really... I wasn't even planning to record them. But anyways, I pick them up right now, so once again, thanks. Let's go to the actual episode. Hey everybody, it's Silverslate here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Hard Gold, Planet Pokes. Hope you're excited. In this episode, we're going to take on the Azalea City Gym Leader. Let's go take a look inside. Let's see. Yo, Challenger! Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge, huge nest of bug type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug type Pokemon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying move, flying type moves are super effective too. Well, look what I got behind me. Lisa. And she looks very happy. She's ready to kick some ass in the Azalea City gym. But they made this a little bit more different. For the first part, if you take the middle spider, you will be... Heading straight to back, back at your L. If you take the right spider, you'll be at a dead end. So, that makes an obvious left spider. This looks so strange. And there's our first runner. We have to battle him. So, let's go take a look at this little youngster here. Bug bug gonna evolve young. So, they get stronger that much faster. That's true. Bugs always evolve at a ridiculous low level. That's fine. If, like... If this is a tome for the gym, level 7 Weedle, then I should be fine. But he also has a Kakuna, that one is level 9. And it's probably only gonna harden. Harden! Harden! Use a Harden! Like, if that's all they're gonna do, then this is an easy one. But the one you really gotta fear is this one, it's Beedrill. It's level 12. And it might hit really hard. Like, this is absolutely nothing. It lives, it's surprising. Critical hit. Ow, ow, stop. 5 hits. Meh. Okay, at least gets 408 experience and there goes Benny. Just evolving isn't enough. Now we get a little bit more different because we've got switches. If you don't flick any switches, we'll go to a double battle. Actually, I'm really up for a double battle, so Lisa and Rocky, let's just go. I want to do a double battle. I'm gonna try to speed it up a bit. In the middle, you can see him. It's Gem Leader Bugsy. And let's do our first double battle of the game. Hey, are you challenging the leader? No way! If you insist, we'll be your opponents! Actually, I want the gym leader to be my opponent. Aw, oh, look at the little youngsters. The spinner rack on the lady buff is Lisa and Rocky. And I'm gonna do back on this one, I'm gonna do rock throw on that one. Rocky missed the rock throw. Bad Rocky. But bad, bad Rocky comes French. Okay, that was. That's, uh, that, I didn't expect that. Okay, spinner rack and lady buff. Do it again. There goes the first one, Lisa and Rocky experience. Tackle does like no damage. And that's a one shot. Lisa is level 16. And there goes the twins. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. Oh my goodness. Even though I believe I switched the orders. Well, that's okay. Uh, let me take a look where I have to go now. Alright. Let, let me put that switch. Flick the one over by the twins, that's what I just did. And take the spy take it over to the red switch. I hope I'm doing this right, I really do. And uh, I gotta And then I gotta take it again, don't I? No wait I don't. Uh That doesn't do anything at all. What is the difference between these two? I mean, seriously? Uh Okay, I gotta do this again. I'll just go this way. They'll send me, like, back to this place. 
Flick the switch over by the twins. I just did that. Then go back. Oh, it ignores it. Okay, that makes sense. Then we can pick the red switch. And if we do this right, then we should be able to go straight to Gym Leader Bugsy. I want to heal up Lisa because I don't want to take any risks. I know that Bugsy can actually hit really hard. So I'm going to use one of those potions. And we might as well use the second one. I'm going to have Lisa at full. And I know what he's going to lead off with, so I want to start with Rocky. Let's go! Have a chat with the ZF City Gym Leader, Bugsy. I'm Bugsy! I never lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon! My research is going to make me the authority on bug type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Gym Leader! Bugsy! The second out of 16, he's a bug type matcher. He has a big bug catching net and he's ready to take us on. He's going to lead off with his signature Pokemon, his level 17 sight. And this one is difficult. And do you know why? Because of U turn. It has a lot of attack, it will do a lot of damage, and more importantly, it will switch him out. It's gonna lead him with a focus energy, that's surprising. I expected the U-turn already. I'm not complaining. I'll just throw a rock on it. Ah, uh, that's nice. But I... He, he has a berry, doesn't he? He, doesn't, he has a citrus berry. That does a lot. Actually, his citrus restores at 30 HP, and that thing has a lot of HP. Gonna go for a quick attack, that deals absolutely no damage. That was a critical hit, really? That's like no damage, man. God. I expected a little bit more power. Well, there goes that side. I get 1000 experience. Hello! And Rocky's now level 16. It still keeps going, like, wow. And then it's gonna send in a Metapod and a Cocoon. I like. <laughs> I can send in Dixie to that. Like. It will switch. Metapod and a Cocoon. The worst they can do is poison sting and string shot. Like, I'm not fearing that at all. It's like free experience. Like, it will tackle me. I will do some damage. It will tackle me again. It will once again tackle me. Bugsy's probably gonna use a super potion. I wonder why, but that's fine. Like, if this is all they're gonna do, then yeah, you know? Let me guess another potion? No, he doesn't. Okay. That's experience, and the last one is Kuna. I'm gonna say, even though it's my last Pokemon, back to Kuna. Pokemon are tough. Oh, not really. The only thing I fear is poison. And hang in there, just a bit more. Indeed, just a bit more to take you down. There we go, that's Bugsy. Oh, that's the end of it. Whoa, amazing, you're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. And we got the high badge from Bugsy. You know the benefits? Of the Hive Badge? You have it. Pokemon at the level 30 will obey you, even trade once. Pokemon No Cut will be able to use it outside of Battle 2. I also want you to have Team 89, which is U turn, 70 attack, and it switches you out. Let your Pokemon attack the switch with the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? That's actually quite nice. Now I want to be able to get out of here. There's a reason why I gotta, like, um, press that switch, like, no doubt. Alright. And. I can just follow the road back, and that will be the end of this gym. And also the end of the episode. This episode is a bit shorter. Let me see what this is. Well done, it was a great clash of talented young trainer. Will people like you, the future of Pokemon is bright. I guess. Oh, fo phone call from Ralph. Let's take a look. Sup? This is Ralph. How are you? Yesterday, Wild Tentacle slipped away from me in front of my kid. I was feeling down about it until he shared his Pokeballs with me. Haha, <laughs> that sure made my day. You call your mom sometimes too. That was random. Let's call mommy now. Hello? Oh, hi, Gold. Working hard? Oh, so you're in a Zelio town. Isn't that where the slope was? Need to go take a look? By the way, you saved all $2,800. You want to keep him saving? Yes. I'll save you money. Keep it up. I'm rooting for you, baby. Click. Okay. Oh! Yeah, my ROM is glitched. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of mess. That is the downside of a ROM. Sometimes it glitches. So you can lol 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 about the glitch. And I will see what I can do about this. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the next episode, we're going to go to Elex Forest and then make our way to the Plain Badge. See you guys next time for more Pokemon Heart Gold.